Hello friends, I am Kushagri Sharma and you are watching my YouTube channel All Tech Gyan. and today we will continue our math tutorial series and today we will cover how can we connect math with the database and how can we fetch the database data with, from the database and uh, what challenges normally we face when we try to fetch data from the database so let's begin first of all you need to go to the channel in which you want to set the database property and you can use either source or destination for your database setting means if you want to read database from the data from the database then you can use the source and you want to write the data into the database then you can set the database character type in the database so today we are going to fetch the data from the database so we are going to use source for that purpose and then first of all you need to select the connected type here and then uh, the polling setting polling means how at how much frequency you want to uh, set the connection with the database and you want to fetch the data means uh, for example suppose five seconds means uh, after after every five five seconds your mirth will start polling data from the database you can change it according to your need uh, but keep in mind that uh, this uh, time interval should be sufficient that one query should be finished before the next time interval begins okay and there are three ways in which you can set the uh, polling frequency interval time and cron interval we already we have seen and this is the most recommended schedule type then time at in which you can set the exact time at which your data should start polling and uh, the cron it is same as a cron job we which we uh, use in the linux you can give your schedule time and it will execute accordingly so normally we we go with the interval so let's keep it five source queue depends upon you you can use you can queue the messages in the so source or not i am going with on keep the other option by default now the database reading setting this is the most important part where we have to give the correct information for the database so give the uh, select the database driver which you are using means i have today i am going to show the demo with the mysql so i am selecting mysql uh, but you can go with the any of the database which you are using so i am going with the mysql and as you can see uh, the class already populated when i select the mysql because it is by default provided by marth uh, there are some uh, drivers which are by default provided by Marth like MySQL, Oracle, PostSQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, and SQLite. These are some standard database and for which Marth provide the class by default. But you can write your custom class also for the custom database, and uh, you can write the uh, driver class name manually also so okay now the url uh, where do you need to specify the you username ip name uh, ip address and port number so just click on the insert url template it will provide basic template according to your database driver so as you can see the you need to change the host port and db name so since i am using uh, my local host so i am specifying the local address you can put your IP address in which your database is present. Make sure your port should be opened in the remote server. So, since it is local, so I will not face any issue in the local host. But when you try to open the connection in the remote location, then this port should be accessible. This IP should be accessible now type your database name now give your username password uh, you javascript no so in the latest videos we will see how we should use javascript 
or not and why we should use it so for now we are not using javascript we are using simple sql and uh, keep connection open so for now it i am going with yes but uh, it depends upon your condition uh, because always keeping connection on will may increase the threshold on your lab on your merge server as well as on the, your db server so uh, you should go no with no also sometimes but for now i'm going with yes okay or uh, retries in error three times it will try retry interval it is uh, once second it's okay so now you have to just write simple queries suppose i am going it i already written the query here select start from there is a table named actor in my database from actor let's keep it as it is and uh, how how can you check that your connection is established so you can go there select pro give you a table name here click on the get tables as you can see the data has come means your connection is established so just cancel it now you have written the query it is the most basic query so just save the changes okay so what is error in the database from the connected database writer okay let's see what error it is giving okay your my channel is disabled currently so that is why it might give me a no 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 actually by mistake i have selected here so just keep it channel writer i am not modifying in the destination now try to save the changes validate yes it is successful now go inside the channel now before deploying it just come here as you can see there are already 40 messages present in my channel so i want to remove all messages for now yes now it is uh, it is a precaution given by marth you have to type remove all to remove the mess all messages at one glance remove all. It is as you can see it is removing messages as you can see message will be removed as you can see there are no messages now clear the statistics also it is already zero so now go into the channel this is the channel where, where I have made the, chain, the changes first of all enable the changes because before without enabling the channel you cannot deploy the channel now deploy the channel now as you can see it will start the fetch, fetching of the data as you can see it is started but uh, intentionally I made a mistake uh, I have not provided any end condition any uh, other condition in my query so uh, that query will go in the loop and it will fetch data in the loop as you can see there are 254 records already fetched by my query but when you go into my uh, database then you can see select star from actor as you can see only 200 rows present in my database but here already 1000 rows has come because i have not provided any and condition so it is just going on going on it will fetch data unlimited times so for that we have to modify a query i am just uh, stopping this channel 
I am just clearing the statistics so next time we can easily see the changes okay so now what we have to do we have to modify uh, we need a flag uh, on which basis your system will identify that this uh, system means your mirth will identify that this message has been already processed we need not to uh, process, uh, fetch this message so for that purpose I have added one column as you can see st status in my database and uh, this will and I will I have set the status 0 for two entries for for your for demo purpose so uh, now we can modify the query according to our need as you can see I have already made it select now I am going to use it in my source go into the channel go into the source now put your query here as you can see so we have specified a condition here uh, we are only fetching the data where its status is zero so this is our condition now we also have to update the status after each message has been processed otherwise it will again go in the loop because a status will not automatically going to change we have to change it and we have to change it after message has been processed so i am just putting one update query here I now you have to select the run post run post process SQL means this uh, means this after processing this SQL uh, what do you want to do so I want to run the post process SQL after each message you can run run it after all message has been processed or either you can choose to run this after each message normally we go after each message but when you go in the batch then you have to select once after all message so now we are going uh, with the after each message so it will uh, execute this SQL after each message and uh, as you can see I am fetching three parameter in my SQL so that three meta parameter has come here so now uh, you can use one of these parameter in our update condition on a best zone which we can um, update our database our table so as you can see my update query is update actor set status equal to one where actor id so i, I am updating the mass uh, status according to the actor id so just uh, select the id from this uh, uh, column and drag it here see automatically it is um, fast now uh, try to run it now see if works save the changes validate the connector now it is successful now go and deploy the channel as you can see there is statistics currently zero now let's see if uh, these queued messages are uh, previous messages but received message currently zero now see if uh, something happens okay as you can see from the timestamp we have received only two messages at 11.56 and my current time is 11.56 because there were only two columns in my DB whose status was zero as you can see there were two columns so we have received only two messages in my channel see only two messages were received and uh, if you open this channel then in the source since I have not specified any 
HL7 format currently so it is coming as a by default uh, XML format and as you can see three parameter has come ID first name and status okay and only two messages has come so now our database uh, patching activity has been done and in I can verify that in the database also uh, we, ag we again run this query as you can see there is no column with status 0 in my database or column has been updated with a status 1 we will run this query again also as you can see status 1 for the 1 for the actor id 1 and for the actor id 71 it is 1 so that is how it works in mirth we have to set the end condition in mirth so it will not go into the loop so that's all from this video in the next video we will see how we can write the database to the write data into the database so thank you for watching this video please like my video and subscribe my video so that i can put more and more video thank you very much